Meanwhile, the Ministry of Defense says it's working with the Foreign Affairs Ministry to interface with the U.S. and U.K. governments to ensure all sensitive information like the recent security alerts are issued responsibly in the future. The Minister of Defense, who also defended the ministry's 2022 to 2023 budget before the House Committee on Defense. The House Committee on Defense, Honorable Baba Jimmy Benson, in his welcome remark, tasks the Defense Ministry to take the security alerts issued by the U.S. and U.K. embassies seriously. One of these robust achievements, which is a proof of the level of professionalism often displayed by our military in the discharge of their duties. However, this committee requests <coughs> that the armed forces of Nigeria should take note of the recent security alerts in Nigeria by the U.S. government. We urge you to effectively collaborate with sister security agencies to ensure that all security threats are completely neutralized and Nigerians can live peacefully. But the minister is confident that the military and other sister security agencies are on top of the situation. The Security Council met and we discussed this threat and it was believed that uh, we will not take it lightly. We try to verify the source of the, uh, of the threat or the pronouncement made by the U.S. government. We try to identify countries that are also interested in the same remarks made by the United States government. And we are of the opinion that the best way to go about it is to continue and where possible beef up security in Abuja and its contagious uh, states, that is Nasarawa and Niger and the rest of them. <coughs> However, we believe that there is no smoke without fire. And in that regard, we were able to subject the details to our intelligence uh, organizations and they have provided answers to those areas which the government is in doubt. On envelope system budgeting for the ministry, the ministry says a more vertical budgeting system for the military would have been more effective for a more robust armed forces. The implication is that the Prime Minister does not have direct influence on the other segment of the budget as it is now. Uh, it has its advantages and of course several disadvantages which the Prime Minister has been discussing with relevant authorities with perhaps an opportunity that the Prime Minister is, is giving to also share the view of this. We are operating now in the era of uh, uh, joint operations. You know, joint operations from the armed forces from the Defense Academy, joint operations at the level of junior course, joint operations at the level of senior course, joint operations at the level of strategic courses, and of course, joint operations at the field level. Therefore, it only makes sense that the country operates one armed forces at the professional level. And that should also be reflected, or rather reflected, at the budgetary level. Which, of course, we all know, will reduce wastages and also enhance the capabilities of the armed forces and also make better use of our resources, especially now that we have dwindling resources in the country. <laughs> the committee goes into an executive session to address security details arising from the budget. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.